It's National Non-League Day today and what a fitting confrontation we have at Callaway Park between two in-form Cornish clubs, Helston Athletic and Falmouth Town. Not a lot of love lost between these two. They only lie 13 miles apart and two very much informed teams. The Blues from Helston, 13 consecutive wins in all competitions. The Ambers from Falmouth, seven undefeated, including six wins. Their last loss, incidentally, was against the Blues on the 4th of September. Could go to extra time, it won't be penalties because if the teams are at level at the end of extra time, then it will go to a replay. Let's hope we don't get that. Let's hope for an outright result on National Non-League Day. Well, back in the middle of the defence is Ryan Beatty. Uh, Ollie Brokenshire is suspended after picking up a couple of bookings in both the previous rounds, so uh, he's ineligible. Kai Cornish comes back in on the uh, right-hand side with Billy Tucker switching to the left. Phil Catron will drop into Brokenshire's position. For Falmouth Town, three changes. In come Luke Johnson, uh, David Broglino and Martin Duff. Uh, Duff taking Bowie's place and Johnson and Broglino slotting in to the Ambers midfield. Falmouth with an early shot on goal. That was a good effort by Luke Johnson. And Robertson got behind it at his near post. And in comes uh, another free kick aimed towards Toby Clark, who's loitering with intent. So to his Matt Buchan. Uh, Cooper's there, and Cooper just misses the... Oh, he just missed that ball by a matter of millimetres. The rain now stops here at Kellaway Park. Uh, did give heavy rain around three o'clock, but it hasn't materialised, thankfully. Perham Films will be very happy with that because it can cause all sorts of problems even though we're undercover here in the brand new gantry. Oh blimey, Ryan Barnes was close. Oh dear, Ryan Barnes slow off his mark. And there's the opening goal scored by Billy Tucker for Helston Athletic. Oh dear. That was a, a bit of a calamitous moment at the back for Falmouth Town. And Barnes knows that he should have been more alert. And Billy Tucker just capitalised. He came in between the Falmouth defence and the goalkeeper and just cheekily and nonchalantly lobbed it over Barnes for the opening goal. Free kick. Gr hit the bar by Goldsworthy. Billy Tucker on the ball again to Matty Bai. Matt by Goldsworthy beaten to the ball. By has another go. Goldsworthy turning, spinning, closed down. This is good play. Slateford, Slateford trying to make room for himself for a right-footed shot, and he gets a right-footed shot in. Oh, what a miss by Goldsworthy! He was def destined to go in the bottom corner. All Goldsworthy had to do was just tap it into an empty net, into the bottom corner, and somehow he missed at the far post. A let off for Falmouth. Holly Moody for the town, a good header. Oh, he's at the post. Oh, what a shot on an equaliser it is. Initially hit the post, Martin Duff, but he's been put in by Buchan, and Martin Buchan in the 33rd minute equalises for Falmouth Town. A very good. Uh, Move on the left-hand side by Falmouth Town. It went over the back of the Helston defence, who are a little bit pedestrian at the back there. And initially, Martin Duff's header hit the post, but it rebounded kindly to Matty Buchan, and Buchan it is, who equalises for Falmouth. It's 1-1. Johnson, Billy Tucker. Oh, 
Well, there were two men on Billy Tucker, and that's a, and that's a booking for uh, Ryan Chin. Falmouth again threatening Helston's back four. This is good play by Luke Braby and his pace is going to go round Harrison Jewell. He does. It's a short cross. And, oh, Androglino's there in the right place at the right time. Would you believe this? It's 2 1 now to Falmouth, thanks to David Broglino. After equalising, Luke Braben took on his man Harrison Jewell, beat him to the goal line, and then put in a square pass, a short square pass, and Broglino read it beautifully and was on hand to drill it under Robertson for 2 1. Also, that man Broglino, who's had a, a good game, Martin Duff, a diagonal pass, and it's worked as well. And here's a chance for the third. Oh, oh, oh Luke Johnson was in on goal. Good play by uh, Broglino and Martin Duff, setting up Luke Johnson, but he rushed his shot and right footed it, hoofed it over the bar. Falmouth picking up the pieces in midfield. This is Braben again. He's worked tirelessly today. What a tiger he's been. A pass to his right. It's Buchan. What a goal. Beautiful shot. 16 yards. Now, still, still some distance. But Buchan second. And Falmouth Town's three. It's all going wrong for Helston. But all going right for the Ambers. 3-1. Has rocked Helston Athletic. The F Trooper absolutely delighted. They are ecstatic and Buchan hits the headlines. He's winning this FA Vars tie for Falmouth Town because would you believe this, in the 18th minute of the second half, it's now 3-1 to the town. Here come Falmouth again, they're on the rampage here. There, it's a pillage and plundering exercise by the town. It's a good ball in from Rob Broglino, just over the bar by Brabin. That was nearly four. Falmouth always looking to catch them as Halston throw men forward. But look at this for a bit of pace. Look at this. Oh my goodness gracious, Luke Johnson's near. It's a penalty. He's been brought down. It's a penalty. His pace got the better of Harrison Jewell. And Jewell on the goal line as Johnson was drawing the goalkeeper. And also drawing blood for goal number four. Jewell had no, no option other than to bring him down. And because of that turn of speed by Johnson, it's led to a penalty three minutes after they made it 3-1. This could well be number four. And I think it's Broglino who's got the ball. Yep. He says to Luke Braben, I'll take this. Braben says, are you sure? And Broglino, who takes the corners and free kicks, who's had a very good game, I've got to say, with his vision and his architecture in midfield this afternoon. The referee telling Robertson, look, I've made the decision. Robertson didn't like the referee's penalty award, but he's told, told him, look, I'm in charge, not you. Don't move on your line. I'm not having any nonsense. Broglino comes up, bang, 4-1. And this is Falmouth Town's day, and Halston heads now look as though they're drooping. And Broglino's penalty makes it 4-1 to the Ambers. And the F Troop, well, they can't quite believe what they're seeing. Falmouth Town came into this cup tie with a very good run of seven games unbeaten. It looks as though it's heading for game number eight unbeaten. And a second round berth for Falmouth, 4-1. What could happen is uh, two substitutes are already on for Helston in a bid to retrieve this situation. But... Falmouth really are looking to, to turn the screw even further because after all it is their uh, nearest rivals who they're playing and uh, this means a lot to both teams, make no mistake about that. There's not a lot of love loss between these two clubs as Braving breaks into the area but nobody's there, Braving scores again! 5-1, this is turning into a Braving took on his men, took on the Helston defence, 
had one go at it, blocked on the line, came out to Braben again, who's worked tra tirelessly this afternoon. And Braben said, right, I was denied the first time, not the second. And he just thumps home the rebound for 5 1. And with 20 minutes to go, well, it looks as though the Ambers are out of sight. 5 1, and the second round beckons for Falmouth Town. Absolutely five star show. Pardon the pun, but um, it is a five star show by Falmouth Town. This could be their most impressive away performance of the season. I'm sure they've got more up their sleeve as they go further in the Vars, but uh, this one will take some beating, believe you me. Four minutes we've played of stoppage time. Over the head of Cooper it goes, but Cooper tidies up at the back. And that is it, it's all over. What a win for Falmouth Town. Nobody expected this, perhaps only the coaching staff and players at Falmouth Town. But what a resounding victory. Elton Athletic 1, Falmouth Town 5. 2-1 to the Ambers at half-time. The man they'll all be talking about in the pubs and the clubs tonight will be Matt Buchan who ironically lives in Helston but has come to haunt his hometown. Well, they've blown Helston away. This will mean a heck of a lot to the F Troop and the men who they support in their amber and black striped shirts. For Helston, their FA Vars dream is over. It's been shattered, truly shattered. And Steve Massey and Lee Robinson will be shell-shocked in that dressing room along with their players because this is a competition that means so much to semi-professional teams. And Ryan Barnes, the goalkeeper of Falmouth Town, leads the celebrations in front of the F Troop. They know how much it means this victory against their nearest rivals in Helston. They haven't got a long way to go back home, but they'll be enjoying every inch of the 13 miles. They'll be celebrating in their hometown tonight as Falmouth Town go marching on to round two of the FA Challenge Vars for Helston. Well, that's one cup competition and the main one, the biggest one, out of the way. They've got to concentrate now on winning the South West Peninsula League Western Division. For the FA Youth Cup, well, obviously they're not going to win it and they won't go a long way in it, but at least they can get through and make a, a bit, of name, bit of a name themselves uh, against perhaps higher and... Uh, league opposition but they've got to beat Brockenhurst first here at Kellaway Park on Monday night it's a seven o'clock kickoff and again that will be on Piran Films with the highlights shown on Piran Films YouTube channel from Wednesday the 16th of October let's hope that they uh, have a a better evening than they have had a Saturday afternoon here in the Vars because it's all over for Helston the best of luck to the youth team on Monday night.